welcome if you're a new viewer here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today live video of police beating and pepper spraying woman in may pen accident on the highway and more a woman was killed on unity lane in roston kingston sunday morning about 11:45. she has been identified as maria According to police sources, Maria was at her home when our men entered her house and shot her multiple times. The police said she received gunshots to the head and died on spot. Three men were later seen in the community with handguns. People that are just two of them, but if you're interested for see all three and the picture of Maria, just follow the usual procedure. Go down in the description of this video. Click on the Telegram group link and the video and the picture will be there waiting on you. A Clarendon resident, Mitzi Michelle, is accusing cops in the parish of <laughs> an excessive force after she was allegedly pepper sprayed in Maypen yesterday. According to Michelle, she was pepper sprayed with a substance while she was videoing cops allegedly beating a female vendor. She said she was at Maypen Market around 3 p.m. when she noticed a cop accosting a vendor for not wearing a mask. The next thing I know, they were pulling her and she was asking why. The tallest officer went to his waistband and removed a metal object which he flashed and then I realized it was a metal stick. Then he started hitting the lady. She started grabbing for the stick and all three proceeded to drag the lady to the jeep, she said. I started videoing and bawling out to them that she is a woman and that they are Kid to be doing her like that. The tallest policeman then reached again for his waistband and remove an object and proceed to spray a liquid substance in my eye, which immediately started to burn, she said. The woman said onlookers assist her to a taxi and she was taken to the Maypen Hospital for treatment. Acting head of operations of Clarendon Police, Deputy Superintendent Owen Brown said that his cops attempt to arrest the vendor for not wearing a mask. According to him, the woman resists and a tussle ensued. She even assaulted one of my officers. She bit one of my officers who is currently at hospital seeking treatment, he said. Brown said the vendor will be charged for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act, resisting arrest and assaulting a police officer. No people, but no, if not all, most of them must see the video circulate on the internet. And my belief that the police them could have deal with the situation much, much better. Because a lot of time they're on the road, I must see police officers are walk up and down without a mask. So oh nobody not charge them. They are the ones should be enforcing the law and them I brought the law to I mean, I see them I get no punishment. I, mean, I see them I get no charge. Nothing not happened to them. So them could have simple well talk to the lady. D with our good if you have to charge her. D with our good now. Care up at the station properly now. Yeah, D with a woman like says she's a child and then expects it. She is going to respect you as a police officer or she's going to obey to what you are saying. That no make no form of sense. And then because I don't have the upper hand and I always get the right. You hear how fast Owen Brown jumped to the conclusion that she beat one of his officers and she will be charged. Because even if the lady never have on a mask and she rang, the police them rang for the way all them had deal with her. So how him not say the police them rang but him say the lady rang or him ear say the lady rang because in the video there was no evidence of the police saying that you are not wearing a mask or anything like that. A bag of things are going on in the video so I can't show it over here even though I show a little sneak peek in the starting of the entire video. But you see, if you want to see everything will happen, all you have to do is go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the Chop City Telegram group. Just click on the link, you automatically join the group, and the video will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing the video, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV, that is C H O P C I T Y underscore TV. Send me a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. It has been reported that a well-known Montego Bay businessman, said to be known as David Wint, reported that died early this morning due to complications related to the Big C. Further reports suggested that David was the owner of a popular clothing and lifestyle store, David and Subs Outfitters. 
An accident was reported this morning along the section of the highway in the vicinity of Coral Gardens. It is most one out of three things. It's either the silver car, the axial driver is a learner, or in that drive you make a U-turn, and him probably never see the axial coming, or him do it on purpose. But either way, this is some crazy, crazy type of driving. There is no way on this earth you go and make a U-turn, and you don't look what come behind you, you don't look what the beside you, you're not near just I look straight in front of you and I turn that literally never made no sense at all so i guess this is the reason why it kind of look like say you do it on purpose even if that wasn't the intention so right now you dip on the wrong side you have to go explain all of that way you just do because no matter which way we put it turn it or look on it what you do it no make no form of sense him not put up no little indication side not even the right nor the left this is why it really brings me to say this is a learner but you can't learn upon them busy road you upon them busy day, day not to mention about the tint would depend on this driver who have video the whole thing vehicle people don't really think cause the accident make me know down in the comment section members of the public are being reminded that the nightly curfew yesterday saturday august 21st which begins at 8 p.m also marks the start of the three-day no movement period set by the prime minister andrew olness police high command in a release said during the three-day period 52 categories of persons have been granted leave to go to and from work these include members of parliament councillors judge persons working in the health sector persons working in the oil and gas industries and farmers persons who will be traveling to and from vaccination sites are also exempt Exceptions have also provided for persons working in the tourism sector and persons journeying to and from hotels, including persons entering and departing the island. Persons transporting persons in the exempt category are also covered. The police are however reminding all persons who fall into the exempt category to ensure that they have proper identification and where necessary authorization letters to establish the dependability of their claim when stopping by the police. In addition to that, the government has made an adjustment to enable places of worship to accommodate 20 persons for a service on August 22nd, which is today Sunday. So just to break it down a little, for the people them who did book them vacation long before Andrew decides to say he might lock down the country, you still can go and come from that vacation, but you have to have proof so they say you go or they say you come from. Also, for the persons them who work at gas station, farmers, immigration officers, custom correctional service officers, nurses, doctors, them people they were half to work and also persons who are entering the island and departing the island so if you got foreign or you come from foreign you are on the exempt list and also your transporter honestly speaking i've been in total agreement with it because what is happening to this country and the people in this country they're not disciplined you know they're not adhering to the rules and regulation of the leaders of this country. It is so sad because they're making life much, 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 much more hard of people like me and you, the kids, the children, they need to go back to school, the older folks, etc., etc., etc. Good for me, so I don't know about the other rest of people, because you have some people you can't please them. But for me, I want the rest. So. It's a good thing, it's a good look. Leader, so you have to lead the country, so you have to do it. You know, Jamaican people spoil, so they have a problem about everything. So far, a good leader for me, is it? viewers and subscribers we have made it to the end of our next video thank you guys for watching catch you guys next time i'm out and stay blessed and stay safe